What's going on YouTube? Cole Rebels here, back with another Series 10 team building video, and today we've got Zygarde. And uh, I, I'm, I'm excited for this video because I've got the spice, alright? So just as a heads up, I'm going to show you not one, but two cool teams that can bring out Zygarde's potential. So you're going to want to stay tuned and watch the whole video, alright? And, and again, the second version is not going to just be, oh, I change one mon and that's it. No, no, no. It's it. Both teams that I'm going to show you play very different from each other, all right? But they're both effective and they're both quite fun, all right? So stay tuned for, for everything. And I'm going to show you a couple sample battles along the way um, just so that you can see how um, the, the squad itself plays, all right? So um, the thing you have to consider with Zygarde when your team building is... Okay, you've got a dragon type, right? Um, and the thing is, Zygarde is um, going to be weak to Xerneas, right? Because Xerneas is the dominant fairy of the format. So right away, you're going to need something to check Xerneas, okay? Um, and usually my formula for Series 10 is if you're a dragon type that's weak to ground, you go with Celesteela, so this way you have a better pivot. Um, but if you're a dragon type that's not weak to ground, then your partner is going to be um, Stack Attacka, all right? Um, and Stack Attacka does well against Xerneas for, for many obvious reasons, right? Because of its steel typing and steel move Gyro Ball can just one-shot it. Um, so I, I do like Stack Attacka here. Um, and considering with, again, with Zygarde is, okay, you're a ground type, you kind of do okay against Zacian. Um, your damage is a little bit um, underwhelming with just base uh, 100, uh, but there are ways uh, around that. And we're going to be going adamant here just for that extra damage boost. Um, but yeah, so the thing you also have to think about is your speed is 95, so you're a little bit faster than some of the other dragon restricteds. Um, but uh, again, you're gonna need a little bit of help in the speed control department and 95 is like a weird tier where you know you're not fast but you're not slow either so sometimes trick room um, is not going to help you and you're gonna need something else uh, to help you against some of the faster things in the meta so um, we'll get to that in a second uh, but yeah so Zygarde stack is a pretty good combo here um, just for the fact that stack is the answer to Xerneas um, now from here you have to consider other things. Okay, so yes we do okay to Zacian, but we need we need more because Zygarde itself is not enough. So we need something for Zacian, we're gonna need something for Kyogre, um, and the Calyrexes, right? So um, how are we gonna put the team together? So I'm already thinking something like this. We have our slow mode, but we're gonna need fast mode here as well. Alright, but uh, before we get into fast mode here, I really like Tapu Fini with a Zygarde team, and I'll tell you why. Because first of all, we have a Dragon type, we have a Steel type, now we have a Fairy type. So we have our Dragon Fairy Steel Core, okay? Um, and you guys know me, how I build my teams ever since like Series 8 or even Series 7. I like cores, I think they're very good, they teach you a lot of the fundamentals in VGC, especially when it comes to pivoting, um, so I definitely like this. Uh, and the thing with Zygarde and Fini is there, there's a few different ways you can play this. So like when you go Misty Seed uh, with the terrain, um, that'll help give it a special defense boost, which is good against the Xerneas matchup. Um, but we're not going to be doing that in this particular build. Um, but there is a way that Fini helps not only Zygarde, but the rest of the team. Okay, but just stay with me on this. So Fini's going to come with our Zygarde team here. Uh, and now, now we can start thinking about fast mode. So I, I really like Tornadus here. Um, just again for, first of all, it's a flying pivot. All right. And of course, Tailwind is great, um, especially for Zygarde. When we want to outspeed certain things, Tailwind is, is going to help in terms of speed control. All right. Now, the thing here is uh, we're, we're going to want a fire type and a grass type because we already started the water core. Um, with the Tapu Fini. Now we need a fire type and a grass type so we can get a fire water grass core dragon fairy steel and that's going to make the team relatively solid. Um, it's very easy to slap on Rillaboom and Incineroar here right um, and I'm not too mad at this but 
Um, with how we're gonna play the team, uh, Rillaboom is not gonna quite fit, um, but it's gonna be used on a, the second version of the team, so stay tuned for that. And Incense, pretty good with Stack Attacka, I'm not gonna lie, but there is yet another way that I wanna try and play this. Alright, so first of all, I'm gonna go with Entei as my fire type here. Because first of all, Entei doesn't care about Intimidate or Fake Out, um, so that's pretty cool. And the other one is instead of Rillaboom, I like Serena here, and we haven't used Serena at all since we built our Kyogre team, which was the very first team building video that we used in Series 10, okay? And I'm going to explain why we have these two options on the team, um, as opposed to something like a Rillaboom or an Incineroar, and you're going to understand why this makes sense, alright? And it looks weird that Stack Attacker doesn't have a Fake Out mod next to it, but it's still okay. You're going to have chances to set up Trick Room regardless, alright? But first, um, this is the 6 that we're going to run with the first version, alright? And then, now what we're going to do is we're going to show you the movesets, alright? But uh, let me just show you the idea behind this is we're going to be having Swagger here, alright? And this is where it all comes together, alright? So, yes, we're going to have Lumberry on this, okay? And I'm sure you've seen this either in Series A or maybe recently on some other teams that are using Lumberry Zygarde, if there are any Zygarde teams. But not only do you have this combination of Tornadus Zygarde um, for Swagger plays, but because Tapu Fini is on this team, you're going to have plays where you can um, Swagger your Entei and you can swagger your own Serena, okay? First let me change the Queenly Majesty, okay? Which is kind of cool. When I played Zygarde in Series 8, I had Entei on the team, and there were times where I used my Grimmsnarl to swagger the Entei, and it was kind of real, and it was kind of cool, honestly. So, I do like the idea of Tornadus Entei on the team, as well as Serena. Um, you, Torn Serena is used in um, Kyogre teams, and if we can swagger our Serena, it's these things are going to do some big damage, especially with like Tailwind. So this is like a very fun way to try and use a Zygarde team, okay? So let's round out the team here. Um, so let's do our movesets first. So Thousand Arrows, of course. Um, we're going to go Coil here, okay, uh, for our stat boost. And we're going to go Crunch. Um, the reason we're going to go Crunch is um, we can snipe Calyrex Shadow teams, okay? and we don't have too many options for dark moves. We're going to have it on Entei, but that's pretty much it. So if we can snipe a Calyrex Shadow with Crunch, that's going to be pretty good um, under under Tailwind. All right, Stack Attack, a relatively standard here. Um, gyro Ball here. Um, body Press. Uh, rock Slide. We need a Rock Move for Volcaronas and potentially Incineroars. And then uh, Trick Room. Okay. And we're gonna go safety goggles here. Um, I, I need to change this to power construct. <laughs> okay. All right, now Tapu Fini. Um, we are going to go with leftovers here. This is gonna be the same Fini set that we've used in a couple other videos. Uh, but Nature's Madness is a, is a great play. Uh, Moonblast for our fairy move. Uh, and now things get interesting. So I, I really like. Um, there's two options here. You could go Icy Wind for more speed control, uh, but we're going to put that on the Tornadus anyway, and let me just put that here. Alright, um, but the thing with Feeny is, yes, we have Stack Attack as Safety Goggles to get to the Xerneas, but sometimes it helps to have a Plan B, okay, and I think Haze is not bad here. Um, I know you might remove, like, your Coil Boost and maybe your, your, your Swagger Boost, uh, but you're not going to be clicking this all the time, um, and it's good to have a plan B um, against a, a Xerneas team, right? So, I do like Haze here, um, and for our final move, I think I think Protect is just okay. Alright, so, Nature's Madness, Moonblast, Haze, and Protect, um, I think is relatively fine. And now, Tornadus here, I did say that we were going to go Tailwind, Icy Wind, Swagger, uh, let's go um, Air Slash for our final move. Okay, we do need uh, something to hit something. Um, and we're going to go Wakanberry here, uh, just so that we can survive the Regieleki uh, Thunderbolt. 
Uh, so that's going to be nice. And then over here, uh, we're going. You might think assault vest on the Serena here, but I'm going to put the assault vest on the Entei here, and you'll understand why in a second. All right, but we're going to go Sacred Fire here, Crunch. This is our other Catherine Snipe move. Um, extreme speed. All right. And I'm trying to remember the other one, uh, Stone Edge. Uh, no, no, sorry, not Stone Edge. Uh, actually, yeah, Stone Edge. I do like Stone Edge here. Um, the other option is something like a Stomping Tantrum. That's pretty good. Or you can even go uh, Flare Blitz. So this way, like, you can pretty much Oko any Zacian out there. Uh, but I do like. Let me just try and find if I can remember here. Yeah, I do like the other one. I do like Stone Edge on my Entei here. So this is okay. And if you think you don't need the Rock Slide, you can just put Protect on Stack Attacker. But again, uh, I do like the Stone Edge play. Uh, so for Serena here, we're going to go with Citrus Berry. Okay. All right. Power Whip, Strong Grass Move. All right. Um, high Jump Kick, we would like... That fighting coverage. I know we have it on stack, but that's also okay. Um, triple Axel, ice coverage. We don't like Landorus. Landorus um, just tears apart some of the some of the team here. So tri triple Axel is pretty good. And then we need a pivot move U-turn. All right. Uh, there's a couple other moves here. You could go like payback, uh, another dark move. But we have enough dark moves. I feel like I think this is okay. All right. Um, so yeah. So we have our six. All right, so now let's talk about our EV spreads. Okay, so um, before we start, I just want to quickly do the ones that we've done already, um, just so that it makes the rest of the team a little bit easier to do. Uh, so stack attacker is not going to change. So we're just going to go with our normal stack spread. Um, and again, if you're new to the channel, uh, the reason why we have a little bit of spidef here is uh, so that we can live the Torkoal eruption. All right, so. A little bit of spidef helps. Alright, and you also live a modest Alecky Thunderbolt, so that's also pretty cool. Um, the Feeny, the way we've play it, planned the Feeny is um, we are going to uh, live the Grassy Glide and a Reggie Alecky Thunderbolt here. So we're gonna go bold. Alright, um, we're gonna go 176 HP. Alright, because this way you optimize your leftovers recovery. Um, because you take your max HP and you divide it by 12. So 176 divided by 12. Uh, I'm sorry. 176 divided by 16 is 12. That's what I meant. Alright, so you got a perfect 12 recovery. Recovery. Alright. So there's that. Alright. Um, and then from here, we're just going to go to the second bump here. Alright, 116. Um, we're going to have a little bit of... Sp we don't really need special attack here because we're clicking Nature's Madness half the time. A little bit of speed, and then the rest in our Special Defense Bulk. And again, if you want to see these calcs, uh, I can show it to you. But for the sake of time, um, just understand we're, that we're living the Rillaboom Grassy Glide and the Reggie Like a Thunderbolt. Um, and you, actually, you know what? I'm just going to show it to you anyway. You might as well, right? Um, so we'll go with our Tapu Fini set. All right. Um... Where was I? Is this it? No, this is the uh, this is the other one. Yeah, see, I knew I should have uploaded it. Okay, so let me just quickly do that. All right, so there it is. So let's go Rillaboom. All right, we'll show you the two five two Adamant Rillaboom, Grassy Glide. Uh, see that we live it very very easily. So that's kind of nice. And if you want to do Miracle Seed, uh, most Rillabooms are not this strong. All right. They don't go Adamant 252 Miracle Seed. If you are, I need to know your name. But we live it. So there is evidence of that. And if you want to know about Regilecki Thunderbolt. All right. Let's go Timid. 252. All right. Thunderbolt. Okay. Oof level 100 all right and there it is okay I'm pretty sure it's still the same 
Yeah, it only has one ability. So you live that as well. All right, so I showed you the Fini Calc in case you're new to the channel. All right, uh, so there's that, um, and there's the Sack Attack. Okay, cool. Um, so let's, let's start with Zygarde. So now for Zygarde, what we're going to do is a couple of things. So first of all, I'm going to start with the speed here, and I think 123 is relatively safe. This is like to outspeed pretty much 99% of the Serenas out there. Um, because most of them are not jolly max speed and I feel like to outspeed Serena that just goes for triple axel half the time uh, is important um, if you have like no tailwind up or something so I think that's okay um, and then from here um, I thought about going to the second bump with 156 but there's a couple damage calcs that I remember to try and do so instead we're gonna go to the third bump here and go to 236 and I guess it makes sense because you know Zygarde 100 is not bad but not great so if we can go adamant and almost max it that's pretty good all right and now from here for our bulk we're just gonna we're just gonna go to 208 over here which will optimize again um, potential grassy terrain um, recovery uh, so in case they summon a Rillaboom um, we can we can optimize our HP recovery with that and then from here we just need to uh, put the rest in our in our defense and special defense all right just one or one or two points all right so this is our Zygarde um, spread and let me show you what this does so I'll upload this so let's go to Zygarde Okay, so the first thing is, um, let's talk about Zacian, alright? Let's talk about Zacian. Alright, so, Zacian blank set. So let's talk about the common, the most common Zacian at the moment. Uh, not that this will be seen in the higher levels, but at least in, like, lower levels, you'll see this more commonly. You'll see the, um, the Jolly 252-252 Zacian, alright? Uh, let's go Behemoth Blade. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Uh, first of all, let's go to level 50. Alright, so first of all, with our bulk, um, we live a Behemoth Blade, and 1,000 Hours is quite a bit of damage, alright? So now, let's say um, we get a Coil Boost, right? So plus one defense, plus one attack. First of all, uh, Behemoth Blade can barely two-hit KO, like almost no chance. So you have a very favorable role, very, very favorable role for a three hit KO on Behemoth Blade. All right. And um, I know um, this could, this will live a plus 1000 arrows. I understand that. Um, however, uh, what happens when you get a Lumberry boost, right? So let's say you got a plus two from your Swagger Tornadus. Uh, you just smash this thing. All right. And even if you didn't, even if you got a, a coil boost, that's still very good damage. And any other chip uh, would probably just KO it. So, uh, yeah, th th this is pretty good uh, in terms of um, what you can survive. But now let's look at the Adamantization. All right. So let me reset a couple of things. So let's look at the Adamantization, which is the one you'll run into more uh, at the higher level ladder. Uh, so first of all, let's just let's look at... The one that I like to use. All right, so most Zations are not going to be this strong. So let's go like the first bump, and then let's go like full bulk Zation. The the full bulk Zation is a little bit more common because a lot of them are becoming slower and bulkier, right? Um, so first of all, uh, Behemoth Blade um, at the first attack bump still is not going to kill you at all, um, and Thousand Arrows still does great damage, um, and if you go to, if you get a plus two Lumberry boost, um, you have, again, a pretty, pretty good roll to try and Oko it. And again, most Zations are not max HP. Some are, some are, not all. Okay, so this is very, very good damage, and you just might even one-shot it. All right, so that's pretty good. Some of them are going 220 um, for 195 HP. Um, and again, that, that just increases your chances of, of KOing it. Um, and again, uh, if, if they are to the second bump, uh, not, some Zations are this strong, but even then, um, without any defense coil boosts, um, you're still, you're still pretty okay here. 
um, in terms of living living certain um, behemoth blades. All right, and you still have that favorable roll to try and KO it. So I like I like this spread a lot uh, in terms of how much damage you can do uh, to a, a Zacian and how much damage it does to you. All right, so yeah, you'll you'll be okay. Now the drawback of this spread is Xerneas, right? And unfortunately. Uh, you do not live uh, any kind of Xerneas moveset, um, so I'll just go. Let's go to uh, let's go let's go with my old one, um, but I'm just gonna reset it here. Let's just go timid. All right, I'll just reset everything. <laughs> we don't need to disclose Cloverbell's Xerneas spreads here. Um, yeah, so uh, unfortunately, you know, you're just gonna die to a Moonblast. Even the timid one will kill you. So we don't even need to talk about the modest one. Um, but there, uh, the second spread uh, in the second Pokey Pace that I will show you, you can live this, especially the modest one. Um, and I'll show you how. All right, but I just want to show you that uh, Xerneas, you don't live it. You're gonna have to rely on your other options. You might not even bring Zygarde to Xerneas. Um, so just just so you're aware. Um, the other thing I do want to show you is um, Eternatus, right? So that's like the most dominant dragon that's in the format. Um, what I do want to show you is, at the very least, let me just change this to 252. Um, and, you know, the, the, this is all I really need to show you. Yeah, and most of them are 240 um, spread anyway. Uh, but let me just show you this. So let's say they have Dynamax Cannon. All right, 252 Dynamax Cannon and Life Orb, right? That's a common, that's a common uh, Eternatus set. Okay, so let's take a look at that. And you'll see, obviously, you get absolutely destroyed. However, however, remember, there is a Tapu Fini on this team. Okay, there is a Tapu Fini on this team. So what happens in Misty Terrain? You live. Okay, you live Dynamax Cannon as long as you have a Fini that was already out on the field. And you're just gonna demolish this thing with a thousand arrows, um, assuming that you are plus two from your your tornadus. Um, and again, uh, it all depends on their bulk. Some of them don't go for 240 HP grassy terrain recovery bulk um, because they figure, oh, you know, I already have so much HP. I don't maybe I don't need so much. Well, if you sacrifice that, then my Zygar can just one shot you. All right, so uh, at least that calc is worth knowing right so i just wanted to show that all right so that's why tapu fini is pretty good um because it's good against uh, a xerneas team that is like the most common dragon and even palkia doesn't want to mess mess around here so now let's take a look at the rest of the squad here so we've got our zygarde spread we've got our stack spread um fini we know tornadus okay so for tornadus we're just gonna go calm here um and we're just gonna go to the first bump here and we're gonna max our HP here and we only need enough speed so that we're one point faster than our Entei okay so right now right here uh, with Tailwind we're faster than Regilecki which is all we really need but we're gonna make our Entei do that as well but we're gonna be one point faster than our Entei so we don't speed tight all right and then from here we don't really need special attack um, we just need to be bulky uh, and basically a, a support set so now you might say there's no protect they can just fake you out however we have a Serena so there's that <laughs> that's why Serena's here also okay um, and same thing with stack attack I'm like oh you just fake out stack attack I stopped the trick group that's why you have Serena <laughs> okay um, now for the Entei here so uh, my, my AV Entei spread for series 10 with Tailwind on the team is gonna look like this so we're gonna have, uh, first of all, we're adamant, so for quite a bit of damage. We're gonna go 139 here. We're gonna go third bump in the attack stat, which is 196. Uh, so there's the third bump there. And then from here, we're gonna go, how do I wanna do this? Yeah, 208. So again, you're gonna optimize your recovery if there is grassy terrain. And then um, all you really need is the, the remainder in your in your bulk all right kind of like Zygarde okay so this is pretty cool um, that's a nice Entei spread um, and then Serena so same idea here we, we just want to be bulky um, 
and we're gonna go to the first bump in the attack stat here um, and I would like to be faster than most Rillabooms especially my Rillaboom I see my Rillaboom running around so my Rillaboom goes to 116 so I just want to make this to 117 because I'm tired of people um, using my Rillaboom <laughs> all right so uh, there's that uh, oh actually I, I shortened it hold on uh, let's do it like this yeah all right and if anything um we'll go with like this because um we get an even number for our citrus berry so then we just do like four and four all right yeah this is pretty good uh this is also uh, a good number for grassy terrain recovery as well so if there is a real move so yeah we got our serena here we got our ente we've got our torn um finny stack and zygarde all right so now let's 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 again recap here so again the idea is um, Zygarde has a fast mode and a slow mode, right? So you've got Tornadus um, for Tailwind control, as, as also Icy Wind. Tornadus Entei is a pretty strong lead, um, especially if you can have Feeny in the back and Zygarde, um, because then you could potentially switch in, get that terrain going, swagger your Entei, and then also obviously you can swagger your Zygarde. Um, but yeah. Uh, Amoongus doesn't really want to come to this matchup, right? Because we have a Lumberry here, we've got Feeny here, so we've got some nice plays here. Um, against Kyogre, we have the Serena here um, with our own Tornadus, uh, and also Entei would want to come against like their own Serena and maybe even Zygarde um, that that can also potentially do well. Um, and again, we have a stack attacker for Xerneas. We have a Tapu Feeny as a Plan B for Xerneas, um, and uh, we could also um, use the Calyrex matchup with Zygarde and Entei. They both have dark moves. Um, and again, we have Tailwind for speed control. So we have a lot of options here. All right, so let me just show this real quick. All right, this is going to be for Series 10. Okay, so this is the fun way, right? So again, you can even swagger your own Serena. Don't forget that. So Torn Serena is also a nice lead. So you can do that. Um, and even if uh, a Feeny switch in is pretty good, so Feeny, Serena, uh, that's also nice. Feeny and Serena, they help each other a lot. So uh, take advantage of that. Uh, but yeah, I, I really like this. Uh, this is a fun, nice way to use Zygarde. Um, but now, let me show you another fun way of trying to use Zygarde that looks a little different than this. All right, first of all, um, I, I want to put this in because I made a mistake. Um, I put Protect on Feeny. Um, it's supposed to be heal pulse. Uh, so again, this is also why Feeny is very valuable here because remember, when Zygarde has power construct, um, and when it dips below half, it'll transform into Zygarde complete, right? Well, there also re the reason why Feeny is pretty good is uh, you can just heal your Zygarde back when it does dip below half. So heal pulse is very, very valuable, and that's gonna help Entei, Serena, Stag, and everything, everyone else on the team. So I just want to make that clear. Um, and fix my mistake before I start uh, with the second version, all right? So now let's look at the second version here. And um, I, I copy-paste the ones that are going to be similar and quote-unquote the same, so this way I save time. So Zygarde's going to come. We're going to have a difference here in the move and the item. Stack is the same and Feeny is the same. Um, but what I decided to try and do here is Misty Seed, okay? Um, and instead of coil, if you like coil, go ahead and go for coil. I kind of like dragon dance here. Okay. Um, because now you can get a speed boost. And the reason why we're going to go with dragon dance is we're going to not rely on tornadoes this time around. Okay. So, um, Rillaboom is going to come again. Okay. Rillaboom is going to come again. And you would imagine this is the assault vest. Yep. So Rillaboom is going to come again and this is going to help stack attack a little bit because now we can have Fake Out and help it set up Trick Room a little bit easier and Fake Out can also help set up Dragon Dance. Uh, so Rillaboom is going to come, alright, and uh, a Fire type, instead of Entei, I like Entei, it's pretty good um, and I don't want too many ground weaknesses because we're going to bring in Regilecki here. Alright, so Regilecki is going to be another form of speed control with the Electro Web, okay. Um, and we are going to be focused sash here. So let's go Thunderbolt, uh, Electro Web, uh, Pivot Move, Volt Switch, and Protect. Okay. 
and instead of haze we're gonna go icy wind on this time and i'll tell you why in a second but again we have two forms of speed control actually three because we have icy wind electroweb and we also have trick room okay so we have quite a bit of speed control on the team um, because we're dropping uh, Tornadus here because we're not going to go for, for for Swagger plays and we don't have Tailwind. Um, but instead, for our Fire type of choice, we're going to go with Volcarona here, um, which I think is relatively strong um, because it's good against Zacian uh, and it can really neuter Xerneas as well. Alright, so I like Volcarona here. We're going to go Citrus Berry here um, and we'll use the Volcarona that we've used before. Um, so we're going to go Modest. All right, um, now we're going to go to 150 speed and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, but after an Electro Web or an Icy Wind, you outspeed Calyrex Shadow. All right, and you outspeed some of the speed creepers for it. So uh, let's go again, Modest First Bump here. All right, 176 for Grassy Terrain Recovery. All right, um, we don't really need Spadef. We just need one point, and then the rest can go in defense. Okay, so um, Rage Powder, of course, is good. Fiery Wrath, Fiery Dance, I'm sorry, for chance that increase our special type by one. Quiver Dance is good, um, especially uh, against like Zacians. All right, and even Calyrex if we can set it up. Um, and the last one is going to be Struggle Bug. Yes. To neuter special attackers so this is our another tech against uh, Xerneas here so you got electro web you got you got struggle but you got ways to deal with Xerneas here um, so I really like this too okay um, and this is pretty good against water Urshifu as well because you got a chance to burn it three 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 chances to burn it technically all right um, the Rillaboom um, we're just going with our same Rillaboom spread that we've always done uh, 116 speed to be faster than pretty much most Rillabooms out there all right, if you're faster than me, I need to know your name. All right, optimize recovery, 192. That's 191. All right, a little bit of defense, and then the rest is for that. So fake out. Grassy, I, I like Grassy Glide in the first slot. Grassy Glide, fake out. All right, knock off our dark move and U-turn. Okay, so we've got this. Um, we've got our stack. Uh, now, okay, so now let's talk about our Zygarde spread here. All right, it's gonna be a tiny bit different um, Than what we did before so instead of adamant, uh, we're gonna sacrifice some of its damage um, For a little bit more bulk with the misty seed and I'll tell you the advantage of this spread over the other one um, But first of all, we're gonna go to 164 investment. So this is gonna be this is what's gonna be um this is what's going to allow us to be faster than Calyrex Shadow because after a Dragon Dance or after an Icy Wind or after an Electro Web, we're going to be faster. We can snipe the Calyrex with a Crunch. All right. And what's also cool about this is if they have no Tailwind, we're already going to be faster than a Kyogre, right? So we don't want to take an Ice Beam from that if we can. So we're already going to be way faster than a Kyogre. All right. And then, of course, we have to max our attack, right? We, we've already dropped the Adamant Nature, so we have to go max attack here, all right? And then just a little bit of, of HP for Grassy Terrain Recovery. Um, 192 is a good mark. And then from here, um, just, again, some defense and some spadef. So now let me show you the advantage of this, um, the, this spread. So let's go back here. Let's go with our Zygarde spread here. And then let's check um, Xerneas. Oh, wait. Sorry. Zygarde. Okay. So, first of all, with Misty Terrain, obviously, Dynamax Cannon just does way less now. Um, and yes, our Thousand Arrows does less too. But uh, again, the, the point is um that we can live those moves and potentially kill it right back i think this is aura break yeah so let's let's just go ahead and change that real quick power construct but anyway so that's eternus so let's look at zern let's look at the blank set here so um we have the missy seed so we're gonna put plus one here um let's go timid let's go two five two let's go moon blast all right, let's go Fairy Aura. Okay, so um, that doesn't matter. 
Missy Terrain, Moonblast. All right. Um, so yeah, with Missy Terrain, um, Moonblast. Uh, not gonna do too much to uh, Zygarde here. All right. So that's always a good, even without it, uh, you're 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 fine. So there there's that. All right. Let's look at Modest, Modest Zern. Where are you, Zern? Uh, so even the Modest Zern um, with the mi with the Misty Seed. All right. Uh, again, you you you're gonna live. So this is this is the whole point of the Misty Seed build, right? With uh, Tapu Fini. So you can live the Xerneas Moonblast. I mean, yeah, you can. The thing is, I hope you have something else that can KO it, uh, because you know, Thousand Arrows is gonna do a little bit, not much. Um, but again, we have ways to deal with Xerneas besides it. But just understand that you do live the Moonblast from, from a modest Xern, which is the point of this build. So now let's put this on the big screen. Alright. But yeah, I like how this functions. So you give up Tornadus, um, you give up the Tailwind, you give up the Swagger plays, but what you get in return is you get Fake Out back with Rillaboom, um, you get Regilecki, back with speed control with electro webs and you know it's just regular like it's broken uh you're gonna go with icy wind on the Fini now so you got two other forms of speed control to make up for losing tailwind um you give up the ante but you do get volcarona um so you get redirection all right so you got redirection you got fake out you got two other speed control forms and you still have stack attack so i feel like this kind of zygarde team is also pretty strong um so yeah if you want something like this um, feel free to go with this, but let's take a look at some battles. Um, we'll use both of them. I kind of want to use this one more because this one's more fun, um, and it's still strong as well, but I'll still use this one as well. So let's take a look and see how they do. All right. So, um, I guess in this kind of team, uh, it looks like there's a ditto and a Zacian here. Um, so first of all, speed control is going to help me win this game. So Tornadus is coming. Um, he's got a Scizor and a Serena here and a Zacian. So he's got three things weak to fire. And Lando Intimidate, I mean, but Entei doesn't care about it. Um, so I'm thinking Torn to Entei is a pretty strong lead here. Um, with Zygarde in the back. Alright, and, um, even Finny works because Finny does well into the Lando and the Urshifu. So, um, if we let play start, he goes with Serena and Ditto. I go with Entei and Tornadus, so thank god he didn't copy my Torn, uh, but he switches out into Lando, I don't care about the Intimidate, um, and I go for Stone Edge on the Ditto, which transformed into Entei, I missed, he goes for his own Stone Edge and he connects, okay, so that's, I guess that's pretty fair and balanced, um, but here, again, um, I don't really care about the Entei so much because I have a Zygarde, I'd rather get rid of the Lando because um, if that thing pivots out, um, that's bad. So I want that's bad for Zygarde. So I want to at least get off an icy wind here and then just obliterate this thing. And he has no switching for it. So um, I feel safe going for it. He goes for Serena. That doesn't matter. We go for the icy wind play. We crit the Lando. Doesn't matter because I'm going for a sacred fire in that spot. Um, so there it is. We get rid of the Lando. Now Serena's slow. He gets the Ditto in. And even if he gets his tailwind off, we're going to be faster than the Serena anyway because we're just. We're just gonna be going for plays here. So he goes for his tailwind, doesn't matter. We go for icy wind. Um, and now we have more speed control here and we go sacred fire. We eliminate the Serena, so that's gone. So any chance of um, that thing going for an ice move into Zygarde is gone. He has just a Zacian left, but again, my Entei's full health and I still have a Zygarde in the back. So if I just remove his late game tailwind, then the game's over. Um, and I know he can't protect. At this point, I figured he timed out because I'm looking at the timer and he clicked Tailwind again. So I'm pretty sure he went like AFK or probably gave up. But we burned the Ditto. Um, and now we get in our Zygarde. And this is pretty much game. Um, you can't really do anything. So he goes for Tail... Obviously, but he, he, even a, an Icy Wind doesn't save him here. Um, but yeah, we just one-shot the Zacian because he clicked Close Combat. And Thousand Hours just kills the Ditto. So... Uh, that was the end of the first game. All right, so this is a this is a weird one. So he's got um, NDD Lunala with Mianchao instant stack. Actually, this is okay. Um, so the thing is, I, I still like Tornadus Entei as a lead here um, because again we have Crunch on the Entei. 
um, and we don't care about Incineroar if he leads it, um, and even Stack Attacka doesn't threaten too much um, because we have enough in the back for it. Um, and we, there is a Draco Vish here, so I really like Feeny in this matchup because Feeny does well against four of these things. Um, and we can always change terrain if he brings the Ndidi, so Feeny's definitely coming here. Um, but I think Torn Entei is still a very strong lead here with Feeny in the back and then Zygarde, right? So, um, we let play start. Entei first, then Torn. He goes with Lunala and Ndidi. Okay, so pretty standard lead here. So... Uh, I want the Indeedy to force the following here because I'm going to click Crunch on the Entei here um, and I'm not going to go for Tailwind if this thing is going to go for Trick Room. So instead, I'm going to go for Air Slash and in the event that he doesn't click Follow Me, I have the Flinch Chance, right? So, um, and then also, um, if he doesn't click Follow Me, then the Air Slash will remove the Shadow Shield and then Crunch will just snipe it and kill it. So I need to force the Follow Me here and he does. Um, so he has, he seeds Indeedy. Um, we get the air size, not going to do much, and there's the crunch. So it actually lived, which means this this thing is bold Feeny with Psychic Seeds. So I guess that's okay. Um, but obviously now he gets the, um, I think he's going to get the Trick Room up. So now I go into Feeny, change the terrain in case he goes for Expanding Force Spam. Um, and I'm just going to try and kill the Ndidi with another air slash here. Um, so he goes for Meteor Beam, um, and he does connect. Uh, we live because we're we have enough spin up, but the Indeedy lives not great. I didn't I knew it would be close, but the fact that it live is not ideal. Um, but all is not lost. All is not lost because now what I can do is this. So the Indeedy protects, which is interesting. Um, but I click Haze, I remove all their buffs, and he does kill my top Ufini. Um, but his buffs are gone, and he just forfeits. I don't know why he did that. He got a kill. I know. I know. I removed everything, um, but why not just play it out? I mean, yeah, I have an Entei in the back, so yes, I can kill the Ndidi and kill the Lunala, I guess. But play it out. There's no reason to forfeit there. But he did. So let's take a look at another one. Okay, so this is an Eveltal team. So uh, Zygarde looks amazing here because first of all, three things weak to ground. And Thousand Arrows does hit Eveltal, and the only thing he really has is if this Gastrodon has an Ice Beam, um, which we don't know if he does have or not. I would imagine it does, but that's the only thing he has for Zygarde, and we can just bring a Serena in the back, um, and we should be fine. So I'm thinking Tornadus Zygarde to lead, um, just start off strong right off the bat, and then bring Serena uh, in the back, and potentially Feeny as well, uh, just another insurance policy against the Eveltal. Uh, I know there's a Rillaboom here, but I think it's still okay. Okay, so he goes with a Gashadon right off the bat. Gashadon stack, I go with Zygarde and Tornadus. So, I'm already thinking about the combo here. Just Swagger, Thousand Arrows, and kill everything. Alright, I know the is gonna live, but yeah, it is what it is. So he goes into Eveltal, okay. So we Swagger the Zygarde, alright. Get our Lumberry off, we go for Thousand Arrows, does insane damage to both of these things. Alright, he has the Citrus and he does go for the Ice Beam like I thought he would and we live because we got the best EVs, right? Um, and also Gastrodon kind of sucks. He goes for Sucker Punch here. Um, I go for Tailwind and I just go for another Thousand Arrows, kill everything. I mean, the game's over. He has a stack and he has an Entei, so both these things are weak to ground. Obviously, he just forfeits. Um, there's nothing he can really do, so that was an easy one. Zygarde popping off on this game. Okay, so this is a Groudon team. This is an interesting one. So he's got P2 here with a Moltres and a Hitmon top. Um, there's a Fiend and Entei. So uh, Zygarde's not too bad here, especially if I can lead it. Yes, he has a Hitmon top, um, but that's fine because then I can just lead Tornadus with it and hit it with a flying move and I'm fine. Uh, Fiend's definitely coming in the back um, just to help us deal with the Moltres and even the Groudon to a degree. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't think I need to bring the Entei, but I'm gonna bring it anyway because um, it's it, it does great against Groudon in the end game, so might as well. Um, so here we go. We're gonna lead with our Tornadus Zygarde yet again, and he goes with the Moltres Hitm on top. So he does intimidate my Zygarde here, um, but it's not terrible because 
What I can do here is I can coil up and remove that. And these two things don't really threaten Zygarde that much. There's no fairy move here. Um, and the Moltres doesn't really do much damage, especially in Series 10, because it's running more of an Assault Vest. So I know it's bulky, but I know it's not going to do damage. So I might as well just coil up and then just get speed control with Icy Wind plays. Um, so he actually goes into Groudon here, which is interesting. Um, so I'm just going to go for an Icy Wind, get some speed control, and it's actually Weakness Policy Moltres in Series 10. I can't believe it, but we do coil up. And instead of attacking, it goes for a Nasty Plot. So right now this thing is plus 3. Um, but I know... Uh, I know for a fact that because his Fire Wrath is a spread move, we're going to live. So if I just Swagger, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do big damage here. I'm, I'm just going to Tailwind here um, just to get more speed control here. He goes into Porygon too, so um, this is free damage from Zygarde here after Swagger. So this is a, a plus 2,000 arrows. That's pretty good damage into P2. Actually, not too much. We actually crit the Moltres and it lives. And now he's Berserk, he's plus 4, but for whatever reason he didn't attack, he went for Nasty Plot again. But again, I did calc this, he doesn't KO anyway, even if he's plus 4, and Max Modest, he doesn't KO, I, I calc this, alright? So, now my only thing here is, first I'm gonna KO this Moltres, but I have to try and flinch this P2, I can't really let it get Trick Room up. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is Air Slash this, and then go for a Thousand Arrows, he protects the Moltres, okay, so he's not AV. And we do get the flinch, so now the game's pretty much over because now um, I can just KO both of these things. And he has no real safe switch in unless he wants to take another thousand arrows that's plus two. So, uh, yeah, very fortunate to get that flinch there. Um, but that is the game we play. So, we played four games with this. Now, let's look at the other variant with Volcarona, Regilecki, and Rillaboom. All right, so this is Tor this is Kyogre, but he's got a Rabombi on this team for whatever reason, he's got two grass modes. Uh, so it's like Santi's team, but kind of worse <laughs> in, a, in a degree. So I don't know what the Rabombi is doing here, but uh, yeah. So I'm thinking Rillaboom stack just to get Trick Room up. And then Zygarde in the back, it looks okay, not great. Especially if that Serena has an ice move, but it's not too bad. Um, and it does help against the Ensign, and then I guess Regilecki in the back also, when Trick Room is up, just have extra security against the Kyogre, and does well into the Tornadoes here, so let's see how we do. Rillaboom and Stack is my lead, and he goes with his own Rillaboom and Serena, so double Grass lead, um, not, I haven't seen this, even when other teams use Santi Seam, I haven't seen a double Grass lead, um, it's always like Torn Serena, or Torn Ogre, or even like Ensign Serena, but um, yeah, this is interesting. So, I obviously can't fake out here. So, my only real play is either to U-turn the Serena or Rillaboom or knock off. Um, and then just try and go for Trick Room. But I imagine the Rillaboom just fakes out here. Uh, so I'm just gonna try and go for the knock off here. So, I am faster than the Serena, so that's interesting. And he has a Guab Berry. That's, that's new. I haven't seen that. Um, he does for Triple Axel. We live it. Alright, and now I'm in a bit of a trouble here, and I think the Rillaboom goes down here. Um, I could switch it, but I know he has Triple Axel, so I can't really switch the Zygarde in that slot. Uh, this is actually a game where Volcarona would have been great. He's got, he, he really brought bro both Grass types, um, knowing that I had a Fire type. Um, and, yeah, I guess, um, but I didn't, I didn't bring it, so I just have to kind of stay in and hope I live something, but... I don't think I do. He grassy glides. That kills anyway. Um, I do get the trick room up uh, because he misses high jump kick. So you might as well miss that um, if you're going to be running this, right? So I do get Zygarde in. Um, so I can kill with Thousand Arrows here or just at least do some chip damage. But my goal is to try and kill the Serena here. Um, so I do. He lets me kill it for free. Interesting. And then I just um, go for a Thousand Arrows. His Rillaboom's faster. In Trick Room than my Zygarde, which means I just get free damage on the Kyogre. So I don't know about that play, um, but he went for it. And then I feel like anything else but this mod would have been good, but he has the Rabombi. So I have no idea why he bought three Grass types against my Fire type, but I guess because he has Rain, it would have helped him. But yeah, I felt like Incin or even Tornadus would have just been great here, but he brought a Rabombi, and there's Trick Room up. So I, I'm just going to make a very simple play here um, and uh, just go for Rock Slides here. 
uh, chip the Kyogre, get the Rabombi down to Sash. Um, and the Kyogre um, actually outspeeds me. Yeah, I guess it makes sense because um, I'm faster than Kyogre. Uh, technically, and he does kill the 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 Zygarde because he has he's running Origin Pulse for whatever reason in Series Ten, um, and he's Life Orb. Um, by the way, I don't know if you got. Uh, yeah, there's the chip. He's Life Orb Kyogre uh, with Origin Pulse, so that was interesting. Well, now the Trick Room is gonna expire soon. I'm just gonna go for a Rock Slide again. Um, he switches out his Kyogre, lets me kill the Rabombi for free. Um, and now there's only a single turn of Trick Room left, so I'm just going to protect here um, and then just kill this Rillaboom here. Um, but I would imagine this fakes out here, and uh, if he fakes out here, then I'm in a bit of trouble, but not too much trouble because I am Sash, so even if he decides to Grassy Glide, uh, I'm fine. But first of all, his Grassy Terrain is gone. Uh, I didn't realize that in the battle until later on um, because he didn't time his switch as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna protect the Lucky here, and I killed the Rillaboom for free. Could have killed the Kyogre for free, technically. Um, but yeah, uh, either way, it doesn't matter. Um, the, this one's done. He protects, but that's not gonna help him because I just kill him with a Thunderbolt. Um, but yeah, you see, I, I, I wrote no grassy terrain here, but yeah. Um, so that was interesting, but yeah, there it is. Alright, so let's look at the pace one more time. So again, we've got Heal Pulse Finny with the, the terrain nonsense. Nature's Madness, Moonblast, Haze. Um, this one is the Swagger plays with uh, Tornadus. Uh, Torn Entei was very good in our games. Um, Zygarde did its job actually, alright? Um, I'm not gonna lie, it, it, did, it did fairly well. Stack was good in, in a couple of instances. Um, and Serena, uh, I don't think we got to use it that much. Uh, I don't think it came to any game because our lead was so strong. Um, but yeah, Serena is there. It, it, it'll help you out when you need to. Um, but yeah, this is one version. Um, and then the other version is this one. So no Tornadus, but we get Fake Out and Redirection back. And a little bit more speed control with Icy Wind and Electro Web. Um, this one's pretty fun too. So um, obviously you lose a little bit of damage from the Zygarde. Um, but you are faster, and um, you do have the benefit of living a Xerneas Moonblast um, if that um, helps you out. Um, so if you want to go Misty Seed Zygarde, that also um, is a play um, that you can do. But um, Volcarona stack is strong. Um, Rillaboom, Volcarona is pretty good. All right, Regilek, it can help you, obviously. Uh, these two are nice into Kyogre as well. Um, so you you got some chances here, all right? So Zygarde has some chances here if you use either of these squads. I feel like this is the way you got to play it. I mean, I feel like um, with Feeny on the team and with Tornadus for Swagger plays uh, and even then just having Stack as like technically your secret restricted is pretty good. So let me know what you think. Let me know what, what pace you like better. I might turn one of these into a rental team, so get excited and uh, hopefully um, you've enjoyed how I built Zygarde. So until next time guys, have a good one.